What's happening, people? And welcome to Boxing Talk with Chris. Make sure you click the like button. It really helps with the channel. You got Charles Martin that recently called out Dillian White <laughs> in the most hilarious video I've seen in a long time. So if you don't know who Charles Martin is, he held the IBF World Title in 2016. He currently holds, I think, his second place in holding the heavyweight title for the shortest amount of time. So Tony Tucker actually holds the record for holding the world title for 65 days. And Charles Martin is right behind him with 85 days. We all know that Charles Martin was the guy that Anthony Joshua beat to gain his first version of a world title. But Charles Martin, for me, is a guy that's kind of underrated. I think he's he's, he's, a decent, he's got good minerals. His last fight against George, not George Washington, that would be a weird kind of, what, do you come back from? <laughs> against Gerald Washington. It was a good little scrap. And he's doing the right. I think he's with Manny Robles now. He's a good fighter, man. Southpaws are always a pain in the backside. So it's always going to be like, it's, it's just annoying kind of fight. So, you know, when you look at Dillian White, there's a lot of talk about him going to America for his next fight. When you go outside your comfort zone, in the sense of him going overseas, which for Dillian White, there is no outside his comfort zone. The man lives outside his comfort zone. He's probably very uncomfortable when he's comfortable. He doesn't know what to do. This is weird. <laughs> so for me, I think it's going to be very difficult to make someone like Dillian White uncomfortable. But uh, usually, the, when you look back in the past, when you get a, a high-value fighter going overseas, they usually put him in with the odds-on-to-win kind of guy. They put him against a really big underdog. And um, Charles Martin wouldn't be that, in my opinion. Charles Martin would be the first southpaw that Dillian White has faced. I'm not saying that's going to give him problems. I'm sure he's had... Dylan White's got plenty of experience with southpaws, but what I am saying is it's a good factor, good way to sell the fight. I think Dylan White should just walk through Charles Martin, but Charles Martin talks a lot of uh, trash. I think that would be very interesting. That's what I have to pay per view by as it is. Uh, but uh, Charles Martin's a good guy, man. I think it'll be a good fight. I'd love to see it. I doubt it would happen. When PBC, and when you're trying to make a fight with somebody over the pond, I'm not saying it's just the PBC, I'm sure it, take, it takes two. But it never works out. <laughs> I can't imagine this is going to be the exception. The only way this is an exception is if they just don't care about Charles Martin. They're like, this doesn't want to take him, man. I have that one. <laughs> but I love it. Uh, Dillian White just put out a video or a caption. It's not even a video. So he retweeted or reposted the video of Charles Martin calling him out. The recent one anyway. And <laughs> the caption was hilarious. He's, a <laughs> He's basically advising kids. This is why... You do not take drugs. And we all know that... Uh, and you know what? I'm not going to bring that up. But we all know Charles Martin. If you do know, look it up. If you're interested, Charles Martin does have a past. But I don't want to even talk about that. Listen, that's that's demons that some people got to deal with. So, you know, we'll leave it there. But it's a good fight for me. You know, I like it. I like the trash talk. Everyone likes a bit of drama before a fight. This would be an awesome first fight for uh, Dillian White overseas. If they are actually going to go to America, it seems like that's definitely going to happen. Why not Charles Martin? Why not? So good for me. I think that's it on that. That was my little two pence on that situation. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I'll be back with more. I'm out. Peace. Boy, you talking all that slick mess. You ain't the prize, bro. Fury the prize. Joshua is the prize. You gonna come over here all the way over to America to fight a bum? And not me? Why don't you let me welcome you here by knocking you the f out? You know what I'm saying? I'm rated all across the board, brother. So who else you gonna fight? You see what I'm saying? Who else you gonna fight, man? If you really wanna convince the people that I'm easy, then why don't you come over here and take this easy money from me then? Huh? Because you know you can't do that. Stop hiding behind Eddie Hearn, man. Oh.